Hello and welcome to The Mill. I am your host, Dusty Crane, and this week I want to give you guys a warning in advance. I think we have codename sale all figured out. So if you don't want to be spoiled, if you don't want any kind of speculation, and I think there's a lot of evidence here, then maybe skip this week. I know it's weird for a YouTube person creating videos to say that thing, but um, if you are interested in spoilers, I think we have some spoilers. Let me go ahead and just get into it. I've got a ton of notes, and so I want to kind of lay this out for you. Um, so code name sale. We are reaching the point of I can't stop what I'm going to say anymore. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Code name sale, a remake of Libertalia. That's what I think. Now, here's why. Um, before I go into this, let me just say that um, I don't know for sure, right? Um, I can tell you what Codename Gold is. I'm not going to. Jamie's going to tell you what it is in a couple weeks anyway, but that's like the extent of my insider information. Um, is. So first, let me give credit where credit is due, okay? Um, I saw some comments in my speculation video where I was kind of guessing what 2021 was going to look like for Stonemeyer. Saw some comments there that led me down the rabbit hole to Board Game Geek, um, which is where most of this information has been compiled. So I don't want to give the idea that I've done anything except for kind of gather the, the video clips that I'm going to show too. Um, but let's talk about what we know in regards to Libertalia today. Asmodee is the last known publisher of this game. Um, and it's been tremendously hard to find for years. It, post even like 2018, people are like, is this ever going to get a reprint? When's it going to happen? Um, in November 2018, Paolo, Paolo Mori, the designer of Libertalia, actually said on BGG that no reprint, reprint is possible. Wow, what a time for me to start stumbling over my tongue. Um, the publishing rights were returned, and he's looking for others interested in putting this game back on the market. Now, it's hard to believe that was 2018. Let's fast forward to 2020. And listen, I don't want to do it either. But it's part of the story. So let's go ahead and head back to 2020, shall we? Um, but before I get to that, now I seem to remember a Facebook live stream where someone had told Jamie that the rights to Libertalia had been returned to the designer, but I was not able to find that video. Um, but big deal anyway, right? Big deal. The, the rights were returned. What's that have to do with Stonemaier games? They're not restoration games. They don't do remakes. So why should they care at all? Well, there's a little bit of history there. Um, you see, while I was doing some research on this, um, I found what I think might be Stonemaier Games' first website, and it's out on WordPress. So back when Stonemaier Games was just a little bitty baby company, uh, in the About section, Jamie describes his um, top five Euro games. And along with Libertalia, which is mentioned there, um, it's also mentioned our Agricola, Stone Age, Zulkin, and Alien Frontiers. So a little bit of history there with Libertalia. Let's fast forward to July 22nd of 2020. Um, that's the first instance that I can actually find where someone brings up Libertalia to Jamie on um, the Facebook Live. And um, it was actually Kyle Mullaney who says Libertalia needs to be reprinted. Is that something that Stonemaier would buy and reprint? How would you make the decision to buy an out-of-print existing title? Jamie had this to say. I wonder if I should just try to get the rights to Libertalia. I mean, I love Libertalia. It fits all of our design principles, or most of them. We'll see if we can get the rights to that. Then, a week later, Kyle is back with this. Kyle says, any news on Libertalia? So yeah, I, did, I posted about how much I love Libertalia the other day, uh, both in terms of my pirate-themed games, um, and I might have done a video about it for the first time. I, it might have just been the pirate-themed games. But um, I mentioned in that video that I thought, you know, randomly I'd check to see if the rights for Libertalia were available, and uh, they are currently controlled by Asmodee. Yeah. Okay, so Jamie says that the control is still with Asmodee. Now, I don't understand how this works if two years prior, or a year prior, that the designer was saying the rights were returned back to him. But because I know so little about this industry, I don't know if it's something where the rights are back to him, but Asmodee can still technically make it for a year or two. I don't know. In any case, um, that was it until August when Jamie updated his top 10 favorite games videos where he had this to say. 
My number eight favorite game right now is one that was on this list for, for years and then dropped off because no one really wanted to play it. And now it is back because I love the Libertalia implementation on Board Game Arena. It's such a simple game. Every player starts with the same nine cards out of 30. They're, they're nine randomly determined cards, but all players start with the same nine cards. And on your turn, there are really no turns. It's simultaneous selection. You're choosing one of those cards to play, putting it face down, and then all players reveal the card at the same time. And those they're pirates that end up on a ship in a specific order, depending on the numbers on those cards. Number, the cards are numbered one through 30. And they have different benefits that trigger as you trigger them left to right. And then you gain uh, booty or, or loot. I think it's called booty in the game. You're gaining that from right to left if your character's still left on the boat. There are daily benefits that you're getting as long as your character remains in your section of the game, in, in your hand. Well, not your hand, but your, your play area, your tableau. And then there's uh, end of round abilities that you get if your character is still in your tableau as well. Just a broad cast of characters, a lot of personality to the characters in this game, and I love the simultaneous play. And it's, uh, even though there's a lot of interesting decisions in the game, there's also a lot of fun interaction, and it's not spiteful interaction, for the most part. While you can you can directly interact with um, the, the player on either side of you, your neighbors, but there's also... Uh, non-targeted interaction in terms of how your players character uh, how your characters activate when they're on the boat just a wonderful game i love it libertalia super easy to teach too really easy to teach and play and board game arena has a great implementation of it that's my number eight favorite game right now so not exactly earth moving he likes bga's board game arena's implementation it could mean nothing at all the idea remake though was revisited by Vito in september Vito says, you mentioned possibly getting the rights to Libertalia a few weeks ago. Any thoughts on that? You know, I, I looked into it, and it's owned by Asmodee. I don't think there's any way Asmodee is going to get rid of Libertalia. So probably not. Maybe I could ask. I, I didn't even know if I should even ask them because they're such a huge company. But uh, but I do love Libertalia, and it would be fun to bring it to, to more people. So, you know, I'll, I didn't actually ask them, so I will, I will ask them to see. Later in chat, Pete includes this. He says, Asmodee has been divesting lately. Maybe Libertalia is a real possibility. And that leads us into October. In October, a whole lot of stuff is going to happen that kind of throws leaves on the fire. I mean, and by that, I mean, you know, the, the saying where there's smoke, there's fire. Well, it is about to get toasty here in the mill because BGG user Richard Sampson says Jamie bought his copy of Libertalia from the geek market on October 2nd. Now this next bit, I haven't confirmed and I'm not going to. Since it's out in, pub in a public forum, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it, but uh, I'm not gonna go down this particular rabbit hole because I think there's a lot of fun to be had in surprises. And I feel like this is just a little bit too close to confirmation for my liking, um, but it's out on BGG, it's public. I'm just gonna go ahead and read it um, without the confirmation, as I mentioned, BGG user David, Masnato says a trademark was filed on October 7th for Libertalia by Stonemaier Games. And again, I'm not going to confirm this, and I'm going to ask that if you do, that you please don't come back and let me know either way. If it's true, then, you know, that kind of takes some of the fun out. And if, it, if I'm wrong, then this is going to be like a wild surprise when Codename Sale does actually come out based on all the information we've gathered here. So I know it's weird because I'm talking about it to say, hey, please don't confirm. Um, but I'm going to say, please don't confirm. Um, let's go ahead and continue. Now Vito says, um, did you ever hear anything back about Libertalia? I've dreamed about a Stillmeyer Games production of that game. Thanks, Vito. Yeah, I, I love the game uh, Libertalia, um, and it's uh, I, it came up, Vito is referring to a few months ago, I mentioned it in one of my top 10 lists, and someone said, you know, I wish I could get this. I wish it could come back in print. Why doesn't Stillmeyer Games get the rights to Libertalia? Um, and so uh, it, it's, a, it's a cool idea that, that we could get the rights to a, a, an existing out-of-print title. It's something that we've never done before, um, so I'm not sure if that really fits into our, our model. But, um, but it is an intriguing prospect to take a game that I really love um, that fits into the Stillmire Games model, update it, um, and, and uh, do our own thing with it. So it's a, it's a cool idea, yeah. Now in November, Codename Sale actually hits the work in progress chart for the very first time. Now, Jamie has mentioned that nothing 
actually shows up on the work in progress chart unless he's very confident that it's going to happen. Now, here's the thing. It shows up and it's already got a yellow in design and art, which seems pretty quick given the circumstances. But, you know, that is what that is. Now, this month, January 2021, codename sale is green for design. Art is still in process, but so is development and blind playtesting. Now, two months is pretty quick to put all of that on the chart, in my opinion, just based on some of the progress we've seen in other titles. Um, now, there was a bit, another bit of information on BGG that I couldn't confirm, um, and it wasn't for lack of trying. I looked, but I wasn't able to find. BGG user Jeffrey Putnam actually mentions that Jamie's had a few posts regarding feedback for changes that people might be interested in seeing in the game. So, a lot of evidence in favor of Libertalia being remade by Stonemaier Games, which I think is a really fascinating idea because that's something that I attribute to Restoration Games, as I mentioned earlier. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about the evidence against. This list is a lot shorter, but it's almost very specific. And that is just, in the Stonemaier Games submission guidelines, um, there, it specifically mentions that Stonemaier Games does not want to do common themes. And they specifically mention pirates in Libertalia, obviously, a pirate game. So, what do you make of all this? Is Codename Sale Libertalia? If so, it's a remake. I cannot imagine it's just a rip Asmodee's label off and put Stonemaier's label on and make it. I would have to imagine this is kind of like a reimagining. So, what do you think? What would you like to see? Uh, there was a lot of comments about expansions. I don't know if that's something that Paolo had mentioned that he had ideas for or whether or not people would just like to see it. Um, there were some updates that people had requested. So do you have any ideas for Libertalia? If, if Stonemaier were to remake it, what would you like to see happen? Go ahead and drop those in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm way off base or are you equally convinced that Codename Sale is Libertalia? That is all I have for you this weekend, this weekend, this week. Um, if Jamie is really not happy about this video, maybe this is the last mill. I guess we'll see. Um, but until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks for watching.